Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. So far, I have completed eight problems on final accounts of a sole trading business. Now, in this video, two more problems I'm going to explain you. That is ninth and tenth problem. So, if you have watched all the earlier videos, now you are in a position to attempt to the problem on how to make the final accounts of a business consisting of trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. So if you join right now, it will be difficult for you. So my suggestion, always keep a rhythm of watching one video with another video. Then only you can be able to get the complete command on the topic of preparation and presentation of financial statements. It's very important. In most of the examination, they will ask the problem on this topic. So apart from this, you must have the basic conceptual clarity regarding the different terms used, why we make the trading account, why we make the profit and loss account, what is the purpose of balance sheet, what is capital, revenue expenditure, all these things without understanding that you cannot understand the problem. So my suggestion, if you have not watched the earlier videos, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject accounting for management, select the videos of unit number two, that is preparation and presentation of financial statements. Watch the all the theory videos and starting problems, then you come to this video. So before starting the ninth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain in detail. See the ninth problem. From the following balances, prepare <coughs> trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet as on 31st December 2021. A small problem is given. Trial balance is given. It is tallied trial balance. 25,900 is the total of the trial balance. Now capital liabilities. Always keep a notebook, pen, calculator beside you and write it down immediately on the worksheet, on this problem sheet. Capital liabilities, machinery, fixed asset, data, current asset, drawings, liability side, deduct from capital, then creditors, current liability, then purchases, trading, debit, then wages, trading, debit, bank, it is the current asset, then opening stock, trading, debit, rent, profit and loss account, debit side, sales, trading, credit, sundry expenses, p &L account, debit, carriage, nothing is given, whether it is carriage inward or carriage outward. If nothing is given, we make the assumption that it is carriage inward only and we will take it on the debit side of trading account. That's all. We have decided all the trial balance items will appear only once, either in trading account or in profit and loss account or in balance sheet. But adjustment items will appear twice as usual. And remember, this is the last problem on final accounts I am explaining. The remaining three problems are on depreciation. By completing these 12 problems, we'll come to an end of unit number two. Now, adjustments. Closing stock on 31st December 2021, 3,600. Closing stock will appear twice as usual. Trading account credit site and balance sheet asset side. That's it. Second, wages outstanding. The outstanding wages will appear twice. This outstanding wages will be added to wages in trading account debit side. And again, these outstanding wages will be shown as a liability, current liability. Then sundry expenses outstanding. Just like wages outstanding, we have sundry expenses outstanding. So add these sundry expenses outstanding to sundry expenses in profit and loss account. And again, this sundry expense outstanding will be shown as a liability. That's it. Last one, rent prepaid. Prepaid means paid in advance. So deduct this rent prepaid from rent on the debit side of profit and loss account. And again, this prepaid rent will be shown as a current asset. That's it. 
so whatever i have explained make a note of it so after writing definitely you can be able to remember now the presentation of the financial statements will be like this uh, trading profit and loss account for the year ended 31st december 2021 sales we are not given any sales return or return inwards only sales are given so directly have taken it in the outer column closing stock just now i told you given in the first adjustment closing stock only two items on credit side debit side opening stock it is given in the problem 2000 purchases there are no purchase return if purchase return were there, we would have deducted purchase return. But there is no purchase return. Directly we take the amount in the outer column, 9,500. Wages paid 5,000. In the trial balance, wages are given. That is wages paid. The paid wages 5,000. In adjustment, it is given wages outstanding, payable, due but not paid. That will be added. So wages paid 5,000, wages outstanding 200. So 5,200 total wages. Last one, carriage. Nothing is given, so we assume it is a carriage inward. So two carriage 150. All the items we have taken in the trading account. Take the total on the debit uh, credit side, it is 18,100. From 18,100, minus 2,000, minus 9,500, minus 5,200, minus 150. So balancing figure is the gross profit carried down. The balancing figure is 1,250. So 1,250 is the gross profit which we got by preparing trading account. Now this will be carried over to profit and loss account. So from here onwards we start the profit and loss account by gross profit brought down 1,250. Now debit side will take all expenses. The first expense is rent. Trial balance, it is given rent paid 450. So in the trial balance, rent is given, that is rent paid 450. But in adjustment, last adjustment, it is saying rent prepaid, means paid in advance for the next year. So we subtract because according to accrual system of accounting, only current year income, current year expenditure should be taken. Anything which is of the next year or last year should be removed. So minus prepaid rent 100 to 350. Next comes sundry expenses. In the trial balance, sundry expenses are given 200. This is the sundry expenses paid. Now from the, to this sundry expenses paid, we add outstanding sundry expenses given in adjustment. That is how much? 100. So 200 sundry expenses paid, 100 outstanding, total 300. That's all. All the items we have taken. Now take the total on the credit side 1250. From 1250 minus 350 minus 300. Remaining is the net profit that is 600. This net profit should be transferred to capital. It will be added to capital. Now balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st of December 2021. Liabilities assets. Liability side first item as usual you take the capital. In the problem, first item capital given 10,000. So capital 10,000. To this we add net profit 600. 10,600. From that deduct drawings. It is given in the problem drawings are 900. The so drawings 900 subtract. 10,600 minus 900, 9,700. That's it. Now current liability consists of creditors. The creditors are given in the problem 1,400, it is given. So creditors 1,400 and two current liabilities are given in the adjustment. That is uh, wages outstanding and sundry expenses outstanding. Adjustment it is given. So wages outstanding 200, sundry expenses 100. That's all. Asset side only one fixed asset is given that is machinery 3,500. Machinery 3,000, only one fixed asset. Current assets are debtors. Debtors are 2700. Then bank balance. Bank balance is 1500. Then closing stock adjustment it is given 3600. And rent prepaid given the last adjustment it is 100. That's all. So we have taken all the items in the balance sheet. Now if you do not commit any mistake the total of liabilities and the total of assets must be same. And we got the same value 11400 liabilities. 11,400 assets, that means 
our solution is perfect. That's all. So totally nine problems I have explained on final accounts of a business. Now the next problem is regarding depreciation. Actually in this unit number two, two topics are there. The first topic preparation and presentation of financial statements. So far what we have done. The second topic is regarding depreciation. One video I have made completely on depreciation meaning objective causes and methods all these things I have already explained in the theory video so if you have not watched select that video from the playlist and be perfect regarding the meaning objective causes and the factors to be taken then methods of depreciation now the next two problem tenth problem is on depreciation if firm purchases a plant for 10,000 on 1st Jan 2015 Installation charges are 2000. Actually, installation charges will be added to the cost of the plant. It is a capital expenditure. So, machine is purchased for 10,000. But to install the machine, 2000 rupees are incurred. Now, the machine cost will not be 10,000. It will be 10,000 plus 2000, 12,000. So, depreciation is chargeable on 12,000, not 10,000. Then, Plant is to be estim estimated to have a scrap value of 1000 at the end of its useful life of 5 years. It is estimated that the life of the plant will be 5 years. At the end of the 5 years, if we sell away the plant, we will get 1000 rupees scrap value. And you are required to prepare the plant account for 5 years and charging depreciation according to straight line method. So sometimes in examination, this type of questions will also be asked. So be perfect regarding how to make the plant account. So before making the plant account in working note, we calculate annual depreciation as per straight line method. Annual depreciation as per straight line method. The formula is cost minus scrap value divided by estimated life. The cost of the machine is 10,000 plus 2,000, 12,000. Scrap value is 1000. So 12,000 minus 1000 divided by estimated life 5 years. So 12,000 minus 1000 is 11,000. 11,000 divided by 5, 2200. Annual depreciation 2200 that will remain fixed because straight line method we are following. Under straight line method, the annual depreciation will remain constant every year. Every year 2200. Now plant account, debit side, credit side. So three columns on debit side, date, particulars, amount. Credit side also date, particulars, amount. First of all, when asset is purchased, when plant is purchased, the entry will be plant account debit, bank account credit. Plant account data are to bank. That is the entry when plant is purchased. So plant account is debited to bank cost the cost of the plant is 10,000 after purchasing the plant installation 2000 rupees are incurred so again to bank installation 2000 same date 2015 January 1st right now one year ends on 31st December 2015 so credit side 2015 December 31st we have to provide the depreciation the entry for depreciation is depreciation account debit, plant account credit. So plant account credit side by depreciation. How much annual depreciation? 2200. That's all. Now we have to find out the balancing figure, balance carried down. So debit side 12,000, same 12,000 I have taken here. 12,000 minus 2200, 9,800 is the balance carried down. To the next year so here next year second year to balance brought down 9800 here carried down here brought down now 2016 january 1st second year started first january 2016 now second year ends on 31st december 2016 31st december again we have to provide depreciation same entry depreciation account debit plant account create by depreciation same amount 2200 now take the total 9800 total 
minus 2200 you will get 7600 balance carried down carried over to the third year now third year will begin from 2017 january 1st this is carried down 7600 this is brought down 7600 now we are in the third year now third year ends on 31st december 2017 31st december 2017 by depreciation 2020 now close the third year also 7600 minus 2200 5400 carried down by balance carried down to balance brought down 5400 now we are in the fourth year now fourth year ends on 31st december 2018 by depreciation 2200 5400 minus 2200 3200 this is the closing balance at the end of the fourth year now we are coming to the fifth year that is 2019 january 1st to balance brought down 3200 carried down brought down. now we close the year 31st december 2019 31st December 2019 by depreciation 2200 now balancing figure 3200 minus 2200 1000 is the balance this is balance carried down 2019 balance brought down 2020 five years completed the estimated life is over now residual value of the plant is 1000 and that is a scrap value now the business will sell away the plant and realize the cash how much expected cash? 1000 rupees. That's it. So, this is the complete plant account for five years. So, in this video, I have completed two problems, ninth and tenth. Inshallah, in the next video, the remaining two problems will be solved, and that marks the end of unit number two, inshallah. So, if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, give your comments. Share my channel in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. And buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah we will continue in the next video.